You guys are in for an amazing show tonight. The, the comic you're about to see, he was named Funniest Comic in Baltimore. This past year, he was named Florida's Funniest Comedian. He's opened up for Ron White, Louis C.K., Mitch Hedberg, and many, many more. Please put your hands together for my good friend, Mr. Eric Myers, everybody! you something. Being skinny fucking sucks. You know how hard it is as a man to look tough when you weigh 92 pounds? And it's not fair, because I can't pull off certain looks a bigger guy can do and look hard. Like a big guy can shave his head. He looks like a badass like Vin Diesel. Last summer I shaved my head. Everyone thought I had leukemia. They're like, how long do you have? I'm like, I don't know. I'm so cold. <laughs> By the way, if you see me after the show and you tell me I look like somebody, can you make it somebody attractive for the love of God? Last week after the show, some drunken asshole saunters up to me and informs me that I look exactly like Gollum from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Don't clap, I'll fucking kill you people. That's not even a human being. He's a goddamn sock puppet, he's green. I'm just not sexy. Having sex with me is like having sex with Beavis, okay? It's like, yeah, baby, you like that shit? The shit is hot. I went to the gym today, obviously. <laughs> Going to the gym when you're a little guy is some embarrassing shit. Cause I always have that asshole behind the counter who's so overzealous about working out. Like he's been doing steroids since he was a fetus. I walk in, I'm like, how much is a day pass? He's like, what are you training for? I can't open this jar. <laughs> Just give me the pickles. <laughs> I went to McDonald's today. I hate McDonald's. They're trying to be all healthy. They got the McFruit, the McBananas, the McApples. I don't give a McShit. I like Burger King because they don't give a fuck, okay? They don't care about you or your health. They will put mayonnaise on your straw. I said no mayonnaise on my sandwich. They called me a pussy to my face. Like, here's your broke back burger, bitch. I'm like, hey, hey. I said mayonnaise. I said mayonnaise. I go to the 24-hour McDonald's last night. The woman behind the counter, no teeth. None. How do you get a job with no teeth? <laughs> this is borderline ridiculous. How do you pass the interview? What's your worst quality? Brushing. <laughs> Brushing. I was eating Doritos. She's like, stop showing off. You think you're all down with your crunching and munching? You ain't shit. How do you lose all of your teeth? You can't take care of the last one. You lazy bitch, you don't even need floss. Food is just falling out of your jack-o'-lantern head. If I had one tooth, I would brush that shit morning, noon, and night. I would strut down the street. People are like, God damn, that's a nice tooth. She, motherfucker ballin'. You go, girl. What's that crest? I am sober. I've been sober a while. I'm a recovering alcoholic drug addict. And I had to get sober because I got a DUI. True story. I'm driving home from this bar. It's three in the morning, and I have an open beer in my lap. 
and I'm drinking it and driving because I am an idiot. <laughs> and I didn't turn my headlights on because I thought the cops wouldn't be able to see me. <laughs> but when you're banging into shit, they can fucking hear you. <laughs> now, if you get pulled over with an open beer, give up. The cop sees me, I am shit-faced. He sees the beer, he's like, sir, sir, have you been drinking? No. <laughs> He's like, whose beer is that? My friend's drinking it. <laughs> Unfortunately, he couldn't be here tonight. <laughs> I'd like to report a missing person's. <laughs> you ever call somebody while you're high and while the phone's ringing, you forget who the fuck you called, right? <laughs> It's like trying to solve a murder mystery and shit. They're like, hello? Hello. <laughs> Eric? Yes, yes. <laughs> they call me Eric. <laughs> what do they call you? Because <laughs> you can't talk dirty when you're high. You have the munchies, you're preoccupied. She's like, tell me what you want to do. I'm like, I want to pull open your refrigerator door. <laughs> and suck on your hot pockets. <laughs> She's like, you are an asshole. How about the hot pockets? <laughs> I think pot should be legal though. Cause nobody, yeah, you can clap, all right. Cause pot's not violent. Like no one's ever been on a, in a fight high as shit. Like one time some guy tried to start a fight with me. I was stoned off my ass. It was ridiculous. He bumps into me. He's like, hey, watch where you're going, bitch. I'm like, man, what'd you say? I said, watch where you're going, bitch. Man, what'd you say? <laughs> what, you gonna do something? No, I just forgot. What did you say? <laughs> I was at Starbucks one time and this guy behind the counter, he's like, do you want to donate a dollar to help kids in third world countries get laptops? I'm like, laptops? Don't they need other shit more? Like, I don't know, food and medical attention? What's this kid doing on Facebook? What's his status update? I'm hungry, no LOL. No LOL. Hashtag, get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> so I'm from Columbia, Maryland. I moved to Miami and uh, I wanted to do something like Miami-esque. So I asked around, my friends like, Eric, there's a nude beach in North Miami. It's called Hallover Beach. So I'm like, fuck it. So I go to the nude beach, I strip buck naked and I'm just walking down the shore. My little penis glistening in the sun. <laughs> like Edward from Twilight. And this man comes up to me, right? He's like, your back is really red. I'm like, okay. He's like, do you want me to slather some lotion on your back? I'm like, no, I'm good. He's like, your back is in grave danger. I think my butthole's in grave danger, okay, buddy? He's like, I wanna take you on a cruise to Nassau. I'm like, look, I'm flattered, but I'm not gay. He's like, I'll give you $900. I'm like, look, when do we leave? <laughs> Guys, I'm Eric Myers. Thanks for coming out. Peace. <laughs>